I just had a great day out on the water. Um, there's a late wave of bedding fish that moved in and uh, the water's dropping out here. So you have fish moving in and the water dropping, pushing them towards the grass line to bed. And let me tell you, that is a mixture for some big sacks. I mean, I had a blast, man. I was throwing back like threes and fours like you wouldn't believe. And I gotta say, when it comes down to it, I fished around quite a few guys, but there was definitely something that I was doing different to get those bigger fish to commit and to get those fish that I was blind flipping beds to get them to go ahead and eat the bait and get them to react to it. And it comes down to one of those old simple truths, bigger baits catch bigger fish. Let me show you what I was using real quick. <clears throat> My first bait that I was using, it's a DNM Custom Baits Flipping Crawl. This is actually the five and a half inch version. It's a giant bait. When you see it up in person, it is gigantic. Got a big old body on it, big old paddles. I was flipping that on a three quarter ounce tungsten weight with bobber stoppers. This guy wasn't so much of a bed bait, but I was using it fishing isolated clumps for staging fish and then fish moving back out after they bed. And uh, just flipping it to bull rushes, cattails, and you can get it way back in there. One big key though with both these baits I'm going to show you, I was shaking the bait quite a bit. It wasn't just a drop and bang they'd hit it. It was, you know, put it in a little pocket, put it way back in the grass, shake it for a second, and they wouldn't smack it, but you'd feel kind of an odd kind of a dead weight jig bite to it. But um, this is the first guy I was using, five and a half inch DNM custom baits flipping crawl. My other big bait that I was using has been a staple out here over the past couple months. And that's a jig. I was using it's a DNM Custom Baits jackpot flipping jig, and I was using the three quarter ounce. The wind never got strong enough, otherwise I would have went up to the one ounce. And the big key here is, first of all, you got a big old hook on there. I was boat flipping like five to six pound fish with no problem. The other big key here is the trailer that I'm using. This is what's called a five inch Mad Dog series. Basically it's a five inch beaver bait. It's gigantic and it's hand poured, which makes it quiver real nice, which I think is one of the keys. But basically I was putting that as a trailer and I'd flip this to the isolated clumps for the staging fish and then the post spawn fish. But this guy would also get bites from bedding fish. And I would basically flip to open pockets that I'd see in the Kissimmee grass, the bulrushes, the cattails, and just shake it. And once again, bites weren't smacks, they weren't swatting the bait, but it was kind of a, a dead weight, kind of a just a funky feel to it. And you go ahead and you reel down and there was something swimming with it and lay into them. But the big key with both these baits is they're big. They're big, bulky baits. I'm dealing with some big fish. I didn't get anything over like six and a half pounds, which kind of sucks. I know they're in here, so I'm gonna get back on that. But um, I did notice I was fishing around quite a few guys who were flipping, you know, maybe half ounce jigs with smaller craw trailers, and I caught the bigger fish. I would literally follow them and pop a five, six pounder right behind them after they rolled through and they're telling me they're catching dinks. So this is just one of those deals to talk about when you're thinking, hey, I, I'm on a big fish body of water. What can I do to increase my odds to, you know, make the statistic play on my side to get some of those bigger bites? Bulk up, baby. Go to a bigger bait. Give them the one-two punch, three-quarter ounce, jackpot flipping jig, DNM custom bait, and a five and a half inch flipping crawl. Three-quarter ounce weight, tungsten. You're gonna get some big bites. So make sure you got it on something heavy, man. <laughs> Give it a try, guys. I, I think I think you'll dig it. It's something um it's something they haven't seen too, which is real important. And um some of the things they can fit inside their mouths would be awful surprise. But give it a try, guys. Um, I hope this helps you out. Get on them. Tight lines.
three pounder. This is a DNM jackpot flipping jig. It's a three quarter ounce. And I'm using a big old, it's the Mad Dog five inch beaver, man. Big baits. These fish are bedding, 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 and they're not supposed to be. So this is a gold mine, dude. <laughs> this is a gold mine. that boys that's another five that's what I'm talking about it's about five and a half look at how he ate this jig too dude look at that you think, you think he wanted it that's that the DNM custom bait jackpot flipping jig and I'm using let me show you real quick check that bugger out it's a good one and I'm using a giant this is the five inch mad dog and I'm biting the head off just a little bit but it's a I'm going with the three quarter ounce the when the wind kicks up quite like harder I'm gonna go with the one ounce but uh, that's a deal baby look at that thing gigantic dude it's a good fish try to run it though I'm running it with a six odd hook so you got to put something giant on it otherwise you're not going to get that hook through but uh, take a look at this thing it's freaking huge man just a beast but they'll eat it Big.
Oh, Nelly, that's a giant, dude. That's a seven pounder right there, boys. Look at that thing. That's a good fish, baby. Maybe about six and a half, actually. But that's a chunk right there. Oh, son. Big baits, big fish. Look at that girl. Dude, I mean, this is popping off. I didn't know what I was sitting on before, but it has developed. Once again, that's a three quarter ounce tungsten. It's all busted up. Three quarter ounce tungsten to a five and a half inch flipping craw. Just a giant bait. I mean, look at compared to my hand, how big that thing is. Just a giant bait. And they are crushing it, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was awesome. There's more, and there's a giant waiting around here somewhere. You stick with it, and there's gonna be a giant somewhere. Thank you.